What would happen if one conversation could change your life? Are you ready to have a conversation that would have that kind of impact? Do you have the skills to be able to really get your ideas across in that one incredibly important conversation? Well, whether you are a scientist or a construction worker, a stay-at-home mom or a professional athlete, an entrepreneur or a filmmaker, the ability to communicate your ideas effectively is the key to being able to get what you want from your career and from your relationships. Well, one of the things we need to really understand is that communicating is about projecting or sending messages but it's also about receiving them. It's about taking those messages in and processing the information that you have. So when you're sending it, you have to consider your nonverbal communication, your body language, your eye contact, what your gesturing is saying, what your face is saying. I may be saying, yes, I'll do what, I, what you're asking me to do, but my body language is saying something completely different. And so understanding that, how you are projecting what you have to say nonverbally is as important as the pitch and the tone, the variation, and the actual words that you select to have these conversations. To be able to project an ease or a way to be comfortable with who you are is really important, especially when having difficult conversations. Conversations that may be potentially explosive in nature. Your job as the person sending the information is to be sending it in a way that's soothing or diffusing, but strong and in command. Now what you also need to be, to be aware of is what information are you getting as the communication proceeds? What kind of cues are you looking for? What kind of information are you getting from their body language, from the cues that they are giving you? From the information that they're giving you, what are you drawing? How are you receiving that information? And then how do you adjust how you communicate? You would communicate very differently with your boss, who you may be looking to negotiate a raise with, than with your child who's screaming in the back seat of your car, that you just need to be quiet so you don't crash into the car in front of you. Both in very important communications, very important conversations, but how you approach them is different. It's different because you need to know who your audience is and how they respond best. What is their communication style? How do they process information? Are they creative and so they respond to larger conceptual pieces or are they very analytical and they respond to a bulleted list of the pros and cons of why you should get this raise? So understanding the communication style of the receiver is a, is a powerful tool for you to be able to have those conversations have huge impact on your life. So again, I ask you, what would you do if one conversation could change your life? And are you preparing yourself to have that conversation?